Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Microbiology Easy Notes. If you like this channel, please like, subscribe, comment and share. Today's topic, gram staining. Its principle, procedure and example of gram positive bacteria and gram negative bacteria. What is staining? Staining is a microscopic technique used to increase contrast in microscopic image. Microorganisms are almost colorless. Therefore, it is difficult to observe them when they are unstained. So basically, staining gives color to the colorless cells, tissues or other microscopic components like bacteria, viruses, capsules, spores, etc. So Staining make them highlighted and they can be visualized better under a microscope. Staining categories. There are three types of staining categories. First is simple stain, second is differential stain and third is spatial stain. Simple stain further divided into two groups, direct staining which is also known as positive staining. Second is indirect staining which is also known as negative staining. Differential stain also categorized in a group 1 and group 2. Group 1 separate microorganism into different groups like gram staining differentiate between gram positive and gram negative bacteria and acid fast stain differentiate between acid fast and non acid fast bacteria. Second category helps to visualize structure of bacteria like flagella and capsule. There are third category which is known as spatial staining. It highlights spatial feature of the cells that cannot be identified with routine histological and microbiological techniques like collision. In this video, our focus will be on gram staining which is a differential staining procedure. Differential staining procedure distinguishes organisms based on their staining properties. In 1884, the Danish physician Hans Christian Gram invented Gram staining technique which can divide most bacteria but not archaebacteria into two groups based on their staining properties. Gram positive that stains violet, Gram negative that stains pink or red. What is the principle behind Gram staining? Why do some bacterial cells stain pink or red and some violet? It is due to the structural and chemical differences in their cell wall. Gram-positive bacteria have thick peptidoglycan layer and gram-negative have thin ones. This difference makes the basis of gram staining. If you want to know a detailed description of different cell wall of bacteria, check the link given in description box below. During the gram staining procedure, bacteria are first stained with crystal violet. This is a dye with a positive charge and bacterial cells have negative charge. As the negative and positive charges attract to each other, crystal violet enters into the cell wall of bacteria. In next step, cell is treated with iodine. Iodine is a mordant. A mordant is a fixative that combines with a dye or stain to intensify it or improve its color fastness. So here iodine makes complex with crystal violet which is an insoluble complex and helps in dye retention. Then bacteria are treated with ethanol which is a decolorizer. What ethanol does? It shrinks the pores of peptidoglycan layer. Bacteria that have a thick peptidoglycan layer act as a strong permeability barrier and prevent the loss of crystal violet iodine complex. Bacteria that have a thin peptidoglycan layer cannot retain crystal violet iodine complex. And finally, counter stain safranin is applied. It is a negatively charged pink dye. Safranin easily stain the decolorized cells because of the removal of the dye iodine complex. And these cells appear pink or red under a microscope and are called gram negative cells. While safranin cannot stain gram positive cells, due to the presence of crystal violet iodine complex. These cells appear violet under microscopic examination and are called gram-positive cells. Gram staining procedure. Take an inoculation loop, sterilize it over a flame. After cooling it down, take a spoonful of culture and make a smear in the center of clean glass light. Let it air dry for a minute. Now pass the slide over flame 2-3 times. This step will heat fix the smear. 
Now add few drops of crystal violet. After a minute, gently wash the slide with water. Now air dry the slide. Now add few drops of gram iodine. After a minute, gently wash the slide with water. Air dry the slide. Now wash the slide with ethanol by tilting the slide until ethanol color comes clear. Then gently wash the slide with water. Air dry the slide. Add a few drops of saffronin. After a minute, gently wash the slide with water. Air dry the slide. Remove excess water using blotting paper. Put one drop of immersion oil on the slide and observe it under microscope. Few examples of gram positive and gram negative bacteria. Gram positive bacteria are Bacillus anthracis, Clostridium botulinum, Enterococcus faecalis, Mycobacterium tuberculosis, and Staphylococcus aureus, etc. Gram negative bacteria examples are Escherichia coli, Salmonella typhi, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Vibrio cholerae, and Yersinia pestis, etc. Thank you.